What's up in the attic? By Lisa Alexander, illustrated by Tom Cook. It was a drizzly day. I don't know. It was a drizzly gray day on Sesame Street. Ernie listened to the dreary sound of the rain against the window. There's nothing to do, he groaned. Cheer up, Ern, said Bert. How about a game of ducking land? I used you to be our favorite. Come on, let's go up to the attic and find it. Bert gave Ernie a flashlight and they climbed up the, the steep steps. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, and they climbed up the steep stairs to the attic door. Ho, hmm, ho hum, sighed Ernie. From the window at the top of the landing, he watched the swollen rain clouds scuttled across the sky. The windows let some light into the gloomy attic. Birds found a couple of old-fashioned lamps and turned them on. Ernie shined his flashlight around the musty attic. Wow, he, sa he said, cheering up. There's lots of great junk up there. Where's Oscar when he need him? We need him. <laughs> Ernie said Bert, this is not this is not junk. The stuff is this attic is like a scrapbook. It can tell us about our past. Ernie knelt down beside a big old trunk. Look at this, Bert. It's great Aunt Ernestine's trunk. It's been everywhere. Here's a sticker of the Eiffel Tower. That's in Paris, France. And here's a sticker showing the Golden Gate Bridge. That means it's from San Francisco, Francis, San Francisco. Wouldn't you like to travel and see the world when you grow up? Bert, Bert asked Ernie. I would. Bert pulled it a thing, fringed jacket out of the trunk. This trunk is full of family things. This frontier jacket. I mean, this frontier jacket belonged to my grandfather's grandfather. Old Mountain Mike. They say he once wrestled a bear to the ground with his bare hands. He, he had a coonskill cap, too. Let's look for it. Okay, said Ernie. A coon a skin cap would be neat, pretty neat. We could use it to play cowboy. It would, and it would remind us of the old days, said Bert. I'd look pretty sharp in a Cooking skin. I'm um, cooking. Could uh, I look pretty sharp in a cook skin cap? Yes, sirree. Now, where is it? Ernie climbed up on a chair and poked it around on top of the yard rope. Lots of boxes were up there. Bert dug down deeper into the trunk. Oh, look what I found, Ernie, cried Bert. 
Uncle Bart's and Keek paper cut collection. Oh, uh, what's an and Keek, old buddy? Asked Granny. It's something very old. Some and the Keeks are special because they are different from what we use today. And some are special because they belong to someone important. Good old Uncle Bart, he gave me my very first paper clip. Ernie and Bert forgot all about looking for Ducky Land. They even forgot about the rain. But Bert did not forget about the coonskin cap. It's got be it's it's got to be here somewhere, said Bert, searching for a far corner. Ernie brushed it aside some cobwebs and found it his old tricycle. It was too it was much too tiny for him now. My, how I've grown, said Ernie. His knees are scrunched up as he pelted his trike. Let's see fast. Let's see how fast this baby can go. Stop it, Ernie, yelled Bert as Ernie crashed it around the attic at high speed. He knocked it past the yard rope and some of the hat boxes tumbled to the floor. Ernie screeched it to a halt in front of the dressmaker's dummy. Ernie Bert wiped it his bro fuse, he said. Then Bert discovered it an old fashioned record player called a Victorola. He put a record on it and cranked it up to make it go. Nearby, Ernie found a fancy back black jacket. I mean, black. Um, nearby, Ernie found a fancy black jacket and a top hat, and he put them on. May I have this dance? He asked the dummy. They waltzed it around and around to the Victorola's teeny music as Bert snapped his fingers to the beat. Look, said Bert, it's Dandy the Rocking Horse. Remember what fun he we had riding her when we were little? Bert put on Mountain Mike's jacket. He jumped it in to Dandy's saddle and began to sing home home on the range where the deer and the antelope play shucks said Bert I sure we I sure wish I had that coonskin cap Ernie Sloan an old brown rug over his shoulders and lumbered it up behind Bert. Grr, he said, I am I am a bear. Dare you to wrestle me to the ground like ground like old mountain Mike. Don't be ridiculous, said Bert, as he swung down off Dandy. We've got to find that coonskin cap. Then Bert found something interesting. Oh my goodness. Here is one of Bernie's baby pigeon feathers. I forgot to save it. I mean, I forgot I saved it. And here is her baby pigeon. Wasn't she an adorable chick? All right, look at this, said Ernie. My old marbles. He gathered the marbles and looked around for something to put them in. Then Ernie spotted a fairy tale amid the boxes. It was attached to Mountain Mike's 
Kutskin, Kutskin cap. Fred will be so happy, Ernie said to himself as he tossed the, the marbles into the cap. Bert was so busy searching that he didn't notice what Ernie was doing. The coonskin isn't here anymore, he said with a sigh, taking a last look around the attic. Let's go back downstairs. The sun is coming out anyway. Ernie found that all his family treasures in the tricycle basket and rode, rode over to Bert. Ernie plopped the cap on his head the mar and the marbles from the ca uh, from the hat clattered it all over the floor. Ernie, said Bert, you've lost your... Hey you, you found it! Mountain Mike's coonskin cap. Sure, Bert. Just for you, said Ernie, and he, and he gave Bert the cap. Ernie, what are Ernie? What are you planning to do with all this junk? Bert asked. Bert, this stuff is just what our place needs," said Ernie. A dressmaker's dummy. A tiny tricycle, a top hat, and a fuzzy brown rug. Help me carry a few little things, Bert. So they carried all their attic discoveries down the stairs. This afternoon up in the attic was fun, said Ernie to Bert. I'm glad I thought of it. The end.